Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Metal Gear Rising. In the game, there's a mechanic called Blade Mode that allows Raiden to aim his sword in any direction and cut the object in front of him multiple times. For this project, I wanted to try and build a similar mechanic using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Implement the slice mechanic for the 3D meshes. Set the proper animations for the blade mode. And polish the scene with particles and effects. Like all of the third person character projects in this channel, I've used this tutorial from Filmstorm to create the camera control for my scene. I headed over to Mixamo to download most of the animations I needed to implement. And since I couldn't find a decent model of Raiden's sword, I decided to just download this blade model made by this user on Sketchfab. I started off by implementing the aiming mechanic by changing the values of the camera's field of view and the tracked object offset. Then I created a plane right in front of the player. I made it so that the plane was a child of the camera making it follow its position and rotation. And to rotate the plane itself, I've used the mouse horizontal axis to add to the plane's rotation on the z-axis. Now, I had to figure out a way to cut the meshes of the objects inside of the plane. I've decided to use this open source slicer framework called Easy Slice, made by David Orion. By using the slice object function, I could easily tell what object I wanted to cut and the slice direction. That slice returns two whole objects as a result of it. Instead of cutting only one object at a time, I decided to use the overlap box function to detect multiple targets on the plane. Then I add components to every piece of the objects that were cut like a rigid body and a collider. I've also added a bit of explosive force so that the pieces move a bit after they're cut. Animating the blade mode was quite tricky. What I did was manually create 8 different poses for each possible direction in their own unique animation clip. After that, I've used the blend tree of the type 2D freeform directional to smoothly transition between poses. I created a reference object on the plane to set the amount of the X and Y values of the animation blend tree. And for the actual slice animation, all I did was simply flip the values of the reference object for the blend tree to move immediately. For some polish, I started creating a shader for the plane's material using shader graph. By using the scene depth node, I was able to highlight the intersection of the plane with other objects. Then I added more nodes for the emission for it to look a little bit better. I've also added a texture to that plane. Then I created two particle systems for the mechanic. One that was a very fast particle emission with a big trail. And the other one that goes left and right to simulate a spark. I added some screen shake to the slice using Cinemachine's impulse source. And finally, I added some post processing like bloom, depth of field, and chromatic aberration. And after a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out.
If you want to download this and all the Mixing Jam projects, you can find a link for the project's repository on the description below. Mixing Jam is only possible because of everyone helping out on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. If you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe, it really helps out the channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.